As our bodies, like everything else in life, are a reflection of our inner ideas and beliefs, I firmly think that we cause all alleged illnesses in our bodies. The body is always trying to communicate with us if we only take the time to listen. Every thought and statement you have has an impact on every cell in your body. Let's talk about physical disease for a while. Moreover, I'd want to briefly go through the major body parts and their diverse structures. In a metaphysical sense, the head symbolizes all that we now perceive to be true about each other. A headache is frequently caused by harshly condemning yourself or your own conduct, so the next time you get a headache, you may ponder, where are you doing things wrong? I have no clue why I'm suddenly judging myself, so try to release that kind of energy by letting go of the previous mistakes. So what if you committed a big mistake? Instead of beating yourself up over it, use it as a learning opportunity, since there is no value in education when you punish yourself. Our ears symbolize our capacity to hear the truth, and when we're not happy with what we're hearing, problem is typically a symptom. It is well known that children regularly get earaches. They are exposed to a lot of material that enrages them, but since they are young, they are unable to act. They attempt to mute what they hear too much of. As a result, kids suffer from earaches, burns, inflammation, fever, rashes, sprains, cuts, bruises, and other ailments. These are all expressions of wrath that has been misdirected. From a metaphysical perspective, hair stands for toughness. Taking into account how hair grows offers some fascinating things. The place where hair grows is in the hair follicle. Shoulders are often where stress and worry show up. We pass it through the neck and over the top of the head. Even the vicinity of the eyes is frequently reduced. However, the hair will droop and finally fall out if the scalp is too tight. The stress on the scalp inhibits new hair follicles from emerging, giving the impression of baldness. Please take a moment to let your hair down, everyone in the room. Did your hair twitch? You weren't required to let me know. Instead, you should practice self-confidence. Strapping your head down won't make you smarter or tougher or more attractive to women or men. There's no sacrifice made here. It does nothing but cause stress and anxiety. So unwind and stop worrying about your hair. A person's vision is their eye's ability to see, and if we're having trouble seeing, it's because there's something we're not ready to see, don't want to see, or can't see properly. In my view, a lot of individuals don't start wearing glasses since they are becoming older in their middle years. I don't want to see it maybe an ongoing refrain throughout their life. I can't bring myself to look at it. Please don't show me that. It's not what you want to show me. The eyes plays a major role in keeping things in mind. When our body cells eventually started to pay attention to what we were saying and were aware of everything that was happening, they began to turn off the cameras. As a result, we could always tell that something was going on in the home that the little child wearing glasses didn't want anybody else to see. The mouth is the mind's capacity to absorb concepts and chew on them in order to evaluate, choose, and taste them similarly to food. The main cause of most dental problems is a persistent lack of resolve. The throat serves as the voice's entrance. Here, where we speak for ourselves, we say, I am, I want, I have, and I will. All of our ideas originate there. Our bodies have chakras and energy centers that aid in change. One typical sign of feeling as though your voice doesn't matter is a scratchy throat. Likewise, being so enraged that you are unable to communicate verbally might result in a sore throat brought on by laryngitis. But we can make fun of them. They don't have to be significant issues. Life's experiences don't have to make us miserable and weigh us down. Some things in life cannot be changed. They simply are. What happens when we are in pain? When this occurs, the majority of us go for a prescription drug from the medical cabinet or go directly to the drugstore. The message we're sending to the body is essentially to be quiet. I won't listen to you. The body will occasionally go quiet for a bit, but after that, the whispered murmurs will resurface, except this time they will be more audible. Maybe we go to the doctor's office and receive a shot or fill a prescription. We need to start paying attention to what's happening soon, or we risk developing a serious illness. Even still, some individuals insist on not listening and won't give up acting like the victim. 
others become conscious of the circumstance and receptive to changing it. Don't stress over it. Everybody has a different way of learning. Some of the answers could be as simple as getting more sleep, limiting your social activities, or being more relaxed at work. Pay attention to what your body is telling you and treat it with the respect it deserves. Your body naturally tries to mend itself and you might be able to aid that process. I believe that my higher power will guide me towards healing from this condition as my first response to any form of suffering or anguish. When I'm alone myself, I see myself in a stunning natural setting surrounded by a profusion of my favorite flowers. I can taste the sweetness and smell the warmth as the warm air brushes my face. Additionally, I take care to relax every muscle in my body. When I feel at peace with myself, I ponder how I could be contributing to this problem. Tell me what I need to know, please. Where in my life do I need to make changes? I inhale deeply and feel the remedy wash over me. Even if I don't immediately receive the answers, I am confident that I will. It's normal to doubt your capacity to affect such changes. Where will I find the resources I need to survive? Why don't you consider the children? When will I be allowed to resume paying my bills? Put your trust in God, or whichever higher power you follow, to guide you to a happy, wealthy life. I agree that gradual change is the best course of action. As Louise said, it all begins with one step. By building on little wins, significant progress can eventually be achieved. Keep in mind that even though the discomfort might not go away right away, but after you make the required modifications, it might. It may take some time before it becomes evident that the pain is useless since it has been building up for a while. Take it easy on yourself and don't compare your growth to that of others. You are unique and you approach things in a unique way. If you have trust in your higher self, you can overcome any ailment or mental distress. You may utilize your intellect any way you choose. It's up to you. The ideas you decide to think determine the course of your life. True to what is said, what you concentrate on grows. If you tell yourself it's difficult to change a habit or way of thinking, you'll get more of the same in return. However, if you choose to believe that it is simpler for me to make changes, your belief will come true. It is a misconception to assume that your mind is in command when it comes to your mental state. You are in charge. You possess a tremendous force and intelligence that are always adjusting to your every idea and utterance as you teach yourself to think consciously. Now that your mind is engaged, you may let go of your outdated, harmful beliefs. If your old mindset reappears and tells you that changing your behavior is impossible, retake control of your ideas and communicate to your brain that you have chosen to begin believing that changing anything will be easier for you. This internal conversation could take place several times until it agrees that you are in charge and have the last word in all decisions. Influence your immediate thoughts, your previous mindset has vanished. You have no choice except to endure whatever effects they have. You don't know what you will be thinking about since it hasn't formed yet. The idea you are having right now is the one you have complete control over.